from the tournament that both players played in last year, or not last year, last weekend, uh, the three-star tournament in Maryland. We're actually Johnny Chia in red, came out on top. He also played the Angie Sen in that final. $2,000 for first place, $1,000 for second place, a match that's worth $1,000. Nanji Sen playing in North Carolina at this Triangle Table Tennis Club, what would be called his home club. Dying to still at Mississippi College in his final year. And we'll see how this goes. Both players play very aggressive, very fast. Dainichi's backhand is very, very quick. We'll see if he can put that into use. Beautiful day here, North and Raleigh, North Carolina. And we're gonna be in this final match. Give people the rest of their Sunday to enjoy rewatching either part of the World Cup or getting some time outside. Both of these players are fast players. And I see a quick match here. Not in terms of skill, but in terms of just how fast each point goes. That's pretty tough, that net dribbler. And you can see those soft blocks, some of those are the hardest. Good work by Johnny, just keeping his cool. So quick that backhand. And not only is it fast, it can be difficult to read. In contrast, down to his forehand loop, it sometimes be slower than his backhand, which really has this one very fast speed. Quick but very close first game. Important serve return here. Oh wow, down the line block.
Trying to looking to close out this first game. Best of seven. That backhand is just so fast. And I it's a it's been difficult for a lot of players that backhand loop from Giants it's just too quick. thousand dollars for second two thousand for first So fast on the backhand. Looking to see if Giant will use it again. Here you go. Pretty good return of serve. Push long, very, very long. I'm seeing players start to use that more and more against Nanji Sen. So hard to control the short ball. Yeah, deep, deep, long into the backhand. I've seen Chisan play where you step around more, but now he's using his backhand more, so it seems to be working that deep return. It's three shots, three points in a row. Dying to deep into the backhand. Two points in a row, but three shots. Dying to waiting right in that corner. And again, when he has that ability to go backhand to backhand or use his backhand aggressively, definitely takes it. The two have played multiple times in the past. Giant is really very good now at controlling the serve, something I haven't seen from him in the past. A little bit of a mistake there. Trying to could have gone for it. Topson serve. Misread on the serve. Another unforced error. Nanji's on finding a new strategy, attacking very, very hard into Johnny Chu's backhand, not allowing him to hit as hard as he's used to. A slow backhand. Nanji's on not ready. Johnny Chu's back, you can see he takes it right off the bounce. Yeah. 
Nice serve, Miss Reed. Giant's serve can be so deceptive. It's impressive. It's heavy. Oh, beautiful forehand hit the net. Now she not please. Trying to apologizing for that. Benjamin has the serve two game points right here. First game point saved. So we take the second one. There you go, saves the second. It's tight. Third game point, trying to hold that net. Gives him that second game, 2-0. Quite a few nets in that last couple points. Give Giants to that 2-0 lead. It's an impressive Giants' commitment to table tennis. Mississippi College is pretty far from the nearest large airport. So after this tournament, he's going to drive home, or he's going to fly, and then take a three-hour drive. And again, next weekend, he'll be again at the next big tournament. Now he's not changing his shirt, hoping for some different luck in this next game. Best four out of seven, he's down two games to none. Not a place he's used to being in. Again, they played last weekend. Where Giants just came out on top of the Maryland October Open. Giants, I'm impressed today with his ability to control Matthew Town's serves. Also making many fewer mistakes. Backhand is still so fast, very difficult to block. Oh, really nice backhand. First miss serve for Giants in a while, or first miss serve receive. Oh, 
looking for that half long to counter loop. Giant Shin's loops are very quick, very different, you see from every from other players. Let's flip. Nanji Sen, the big part of his game that we're not seeing is usually that big serve attack. And if you can break that serve attack, as some of our players have done today, in certain points, then you can play a very, very exceptional close game with him. And Johnny Chu here has done a very good job the past couple games, and even in this game, of returning the serve. Just like that beautiful job. I just said taking some time. Trying to, as we've seen today, actually much better against players who play like Nanji San, who play harder. I saw him struggle against Fong earlier. With Yanji san he's playing up, he's playing very well. And his return of serve is amazing. He's been able to loop every single one, good quality, follows it up with another shot. Powerful block, a punch block. Never over till it's over. And that was a very dominating serve receive. Let's see what other tricks these players have up their sleeve. 8 7, close third game. Just gonna serve. I'm using that backhand, putting the anti on the defense. Makes for a really interesting match. Matthew has been on the defense almost his entire game. And now he's pushing the offense. Two points in a row. Definitely doesn't want to go down 3-0. What a difficult place to come back from. Oh, he got lucky there. Tiny Shu is famous for that backhand. Now he has his first game point. He's down 9-7. Going for an attack. Ten, ten. Now he's like pushing, pushing it. Wow, quite a step around an attack. Cannot conserve energy in the final. It's the final. Let's serve. Trying to go in for that long middle. Let's see who's going to do something similar. Top spin serve. 
Oh, wow. Giants having led 9-7. Not able to close out that game. It's like he ran out of energy, didn't move his feet on that last point. Really quite a final here. These matches are exhausting, not only mentally, but physically. No spin serve, big forehand. And it seems like the difference today will be who has the most patience. And the most endurance. We call these players professional competition players. We see them almost every weekend at a tournament. And you can feel trying to start to start to wither a little bit. Some of the shots are softer and gives Nauti some more room to just be so aggressive. Oh, wow, what a backhand. Slaving fast. Wow. As you see, as you see trying to play softer as if he's tired or more nervous, Nandi sounds really coming to life. Oh, beautiful counter loop. Trying to bring himself back into it. Tainche has done this before where he just has a, a mental blank out for a little bit and then he comes back and he'd be very strong. Don't ever count him out. Misread on the serve, topspin. Heavy topspin. Another one. game points trying to see what he plans to do here. 
changing the speed on the loop. It's tough. He goes too soft. Lanji San just kills it. Sometimes if you can make the changes, you can stay in the game. Second game point to save. Johnny just finding some extra energy within himself. Third beam point to save. Looking for that backhand. Spinny and deep. Two more match points to save. The serve receive is everything. There it is, looking for just that half long. Pretty dangerous shot, actually. In terms of a serve. 2-2 Two -two in games. It's gonna be a real final. And both players very familiar with each other's game. Really excited to see who's going to make it into this crucial fifth game, similar to the third game in a best three out of five. In the best four out of seven, the fifth game tied 2 2 is extra crucial. Here we go. Serve received. It's going to be key. Tiny Chu using his backhand is going to be key in terms of placement and just physical endurance between the two players. Very critical in this long haul. Four out of seven. Looking for the backhand. Nice block. Beautiful placement out wide to the front and right back into the deep backhand. Those are angles that you drill in practice and it's great to see them being used in competition. She's going to go for a big shot there. Double bounce. A little bit of a skip hop from Johnny Chu. Looks like he's feeling back in the game. Here we go. Topspin serves. Serving a lot of topspin. Andrew sent off of his game a little bit, not serving and attacking. Just playing very defensive. And when you play outside of your element, very, very difficult. Same thing serves where Dying Chu, who may have missed it in that last game, he's all over it in game five. Same serve receive. When Nanjisa doesn't have the upper hand on his serve, just like in this game five, a lot of different changes can happen and a game can get out of hand really quickly. 8-2.
Finally flipped that topspin serve. First time. Two in a row. Now he knows it. I'll see if Johnny Chu will ever will change that serve in this next round. Oh, wow. Nine six into these big points now. Oh, and an unforced error not far back enough. Johnny Chu up 8-2 and now only leading 9-7. Again, everything can change so quickly. First game point. Critical, critical game five in this best of seven. Beautiful counter loop. And when Nanji Sen is ready for that block, he stays close to the table. It's really difficult. Tops and serve. Forcing Nanji Sen to flip. And this time, Johnny served it a little differently. He served it a little bit shorter, a little bit lower. And that came right off the edge of the table, and he took that game pretty dangerous up, up 8 2, then up 9 7, and finally 11 8. Again, anything is possible. Not going to be easy in this next round. Soft loop. Oh, too long, too high, and right towards the middle. Giants is serving a lot of topspin. We'll see if he mixes it up a little bit more in this next round or in this next game. Another pattern emerging, trying to going short to the forehand, then very fast into the backhand. Serve return is still number one and very key. He's lifting the ball up, giving Nanjisan a very wide angle. It's difficult to use your forehand, it's difficult to use your backhand, it's a very slow spinny ball. It's a good way to return that serve. Johnny Chu playing hard, playing so aggressively. 
Mounties on backing away. Not his usual serve and attack style. Both players still have their timeouts. Donchad looking for that kill on that ball. 2-4. Really good push, actually, and you heard Juzan kind of struggle to make it. He made a good loop. And the power of pushing very, very long is key here. I'll place one of that backhand a little bit too towards the middle. Juzan very good at that step around. Four four. Top spin and too high. Deep backhand push, big forehand rally. <laughs> Nanji has been winning most of those forehand rallies. Looking for a big forehand. Backhand, cross court, beautiful wide angle, super quick. No spin serve. Well, really an unforced error. It's interesting for me to watch Jason have a little trouble reading Ichi's serve, John Ichi's serve in red. It's usually always the other way around. Another big loop, just low, just spinny enough, makes it hard to counter loop. Giant has good control, good confidence on returning that serve. Just looking back in in the middle and back in deep in the back in corner. Another combination very difficult to recover from unless you're very, very quick with your feet. Spin surf, looking for that backhand. Just not wide enough to the wide backhand. Three game points here. Manji sent to tie it up at three games apiece. That was a very good serve. Heavy under. Net serve. Another net serve. Two more game points to save for Tony Chu. Eleven eight. Jishan ties it up. Again, a test of endurance. Both players doing an amazing job. 
holding it together, playing very focused, very aggressively. Fifth, our seventh and final game in the final. Let's see. The opening is key. Whoever gets this big leads, big mental advantage. Beautiful flip. Beautiful. Inside out, right into that forehand corner. Soft, not long, very low. One, one. It's going to be a close seven. Mm, unforced error by John Yuchu there. He had that backhand. He's thinking very hard about how to place it. Both players still have their timeouts. Hoping that they can consider using last chance here. If I were trying to call the timeout right here, right before I would serve. And this change of sides. But again, both players play so quickly. Perhaps the timeout's not needed. Trying to looking for that backhand. Heavy under. <laughs> now just said totally ready. Energy is coming back for Johnny Chu. Running the corners. Again, $1,000 at stake between the winner of first and the winner and the finalist. Looking for that forehand. Backhand, beautiful placement, so quick. Right into the middle. It's amazing how fast these shots are around the table before they back up. And you know, I was wrong. I was thinking trying to needed that timeout. I was doing quite a good job without it. Five six. Two serve rec receives and two serve to Nanji Sun. Key points right here. Beautiful return down the line, super low. The height of it makes it so difficult to counter loop. Beautiful block. Huge counter looping rally. Come on. 
Wow, that's pretty amazing. 6-2 to 7-all. Okay, both players still have their timeouts. We have one of the closest finals. Closest finals we've seen on the Butterfly Tour. Maybe only a one or two point margin. We're going to see some interesting serve receive strategies here and serve attack strategies. $1,000 on the line between first and second. First place is a $2,000. And second place is $1,000. Playing a little bit short game, it's a change. So he's starting to just thought about this clearly enough. What's his plan for this point? Thompson serve. I would say that's an unforced error. Let's see if his still mind is in it. We could have our first match point soon. So low and so short, so difficult to counter loop. 8 9. Playing hard here. No spin serve trying to saw it straight, gave a wide angle. $1,000. Two points to determine who will be our Southeastern Open winner, 9 9 and 3 all. We have a big crowd here. Heavy looking for the backhand. <laughs> oh man. Personal error. He was lucky to get that net but couldn't execute. First match point. Oh, forehand lift didn't go for that backhand. Ten all, hold your breath. Have our champion soon. Second match point, trying to with the serve, looking for that attack. <gasps> oh man, missed serve. We've seen it at the Olympics, we've seen it at the World Championships. Tough way to lose that final. What an interesting end with the ball landing in the ceiling and not being